hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the adapter design pattern so we'll see all about adapter design pattern that what they are then what are the properties and how we can implement it through java so now first of all about the properties so uh, what is adapter you know you might have heard this term uh, before also like adapter means you are adapting so uh, let's say you have a, a charging adapter so basically what it does it basically adapt according to the charging system so let's say whenever you go from india to us or from us to uk so everywhere there is different kind of system of charging some uh, some might have the voltage of 220 some might have a voltage some other another voltage right or uh, or at many places there there is three uh, three charging points at some places there are only two charging point so these uh, adapters basically adapt to the situation and they charge correctly right so that is why this is one example another example we can have like usb to ethernet adapter or like you know an, another adapter so uh, there are so many application in real world uh, so that we can find this adapter so that the same thing same thing happens in our java code as well or any code right so what happens that basically we adapt to the situation so let's say we have a different uh, object now now what happens let let's say two objects there are now both are doing the same thing but they are on different interface right one one is on usb interface another is on ethernet interface both are doing the same thing let's say both are charging right but their interface is different so there we can write a adapter so what this adapter will do this adapter will adjust according to the main main charging system the another interface right so it will basically connect two interfaces and it will execute the functionality right so uh, one example that i will show you here which is let's say this is web driver executor so uh, this web driver interface i have so there are two functions get element and select element now this interface assumes that all web driver will support this get element and select element so let's say if we have the chrome driver which support this get element and select element but let's say there is another object which says that yes i have also this thing i can also do this thing but my interface is different so let's say we have a i driver which is internet explorer driver and it says that yes i can do the same thing but my interface is that that i execute the find element rather than get element and using the select element rather select element i use the click element right so now interface is different so what i will do will basically put a web driver adapter so what it will do it basically adapting so it will adapt the i driver and it will execute this function as so so basically will call the get element and in uh, and internally it will call these functions of i driver right so whatever the different interface object is we call as that adapting means basically we are adapting these different objects right and we are communicating from that interface to our main interface right so these are adapting these are adapter and adapter will adapt this one through the methods right so now let me show you that actually how i am doing so this is my interface as i told you web driver my interface implementation would be basically chrome driver will implement this web driver and web driver adapter will also implement web driver now adapter would be web driver adapter adapt is i driver and my client class will be adapter pattern test right so here i have this web driver and which has two functions get element and select element now chrome driver is a chrome driver is on the same interface which is using the get element and select element so here for example we are just printing that get element from chrome driver and select element from chrome driver now we have the i driver which is on another interface which works on find element and click element right so now for this we have a adapter so what adapter will do adapter implements the same web driver and basically will call the get element through the adapter but internally it will call the find element so always always have the different object uh, object uh, instance here 
and then we'll pass that object into the constructor and then we and then we can call the functions of that adapty object right so this is what you can see we are doing here that i driver was the adapty which was a different object so we initialize the variable then we initialize through here and then we call then we call the different functions uh, we call the functions of that adapty which is find element because get element uh, was basically pointing to find element and here it was click element rather than select element right so now uh, what would happen that this is for the chrome driver so chrome driver would simply call the get element select element now let's say if it is a i driver so an i driver would call its function find element but and click element but now when we want to have only a single interface so what would happen we'll call the web driver adapter and we'll pass this i i driver right so we'll pass the i driver object so what it will do it will initialize the i driver and then we can simply call the get element and select element and it would return me the values right so let me show you through debug on that how it is happening so uh, it will so first of all let's check about the chrome driver so it will initialize and it would print uh, that get element from chrome driver and select element from chrome driver same thing is for i driver if we uh, if we get the value independently but here is a adapter so it will initialize the i driver value from here and then when we will call the get element it will redirect to the find element and it will say find element from i driver and similarly for the select element as well it will it will redirect to the i driver uh, method right so this is how uh, this is how we can see this is how we can redirect to the adaptive methods right basically we are adapting so uh, that's it guys about the adaptive design pattern if you have any doubts related to it please write in the comment section and i will try to answer that so thanks for watching it and if you have liked the video please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you